What's going on, people? Today was another really bad traffic day. It was kind of crazy. It was um, insane, really. Today, we're going to talk about how to sell more and how to sell it faster. This is one of the biggest problems that most hustlers have. How to sell some stuff. How to sell it fast. How to sell it consistently. That's one of the troubles that most people go through. So let's start at the beginning. Let's start at the early, early part of the transaction. Have you actually done your work to make sure that that's something someone wants? I'll give you some uh, of my history. I used to buy storage units. I used to buy quite a few of them every month. And as part of the process... I would get stuff that I couldn't sell because essentially if you don't know anything about storage auctions, you go to this place where they are selling these rooms and they're like, Hey, you can look at the door, but you can't touch. You can't go in there. So as a consequence, I would get a lot of stuff that I would call booty. Booty is stuff that nobody wants. Things that are really hard to resell. The booty would be Walmart stuff. Booty would be target stuff. Name brand, you know, it would be pleather shoes, you know, shoes not even made of real leather. It would be all of that stuff. And it was just really, really a challenge to get rid of through normal selling channels. I mean, the stuff was like, what, these pleather shoes were 24 bucks. And even if they're brand new, people still like, I want to give you five ducks for this because you're this is a flea market. I'm not trying to give you 25 bucks. I'm going to give you 25 bucks. I go to Target and get them new. I don't want to pay new price. So you have this battle. There's the customer who wants to pay the least amount possible. And there's you, the seller, who wants to make as much money as possible. So you're, you're like tug of war, tug of war, tug of war. And that was my life for many years. And I learned how to navigate it. Number one, if you want to sell stuff fast, if you have booty merchandise you got to stack it deep and sell it cheap. There is no other way. I don't care how long you hold on to it. I don't care if you hold on to it to Christmas. Booty merchandise is going to move at a booty rate, and the booty rate is one to five bucks. That's it. I mean, it, this was a lesson that my partner and I learned. It took about a year and a half, but it's worth this. Uh, it's so nice. Uh, no, it's booty. It's booty, 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 booty. And people are not going to pay you top choice dollar for booty merchandise. It's just not going to happen. Now, if you've got something that's name brand, that's a whole different ball game, perhaps. Because there's a lot of name brand stuff that is what I call specific name brand. Uh, like board of purses or something. You could take that purse and put it on the table and no one's going to know this is a $25,000 purse. And very few people outside of an up scale consignment shop are going to be able to sell that $25,000 purse for 15 close to it. There's, there's just not a lot of places. And then there is pedestrian name brand, Apple. I could sell this Apple watch, Craigslist, Facebook, eBay. I could sell it anywhere because everyone knows it's an Apple watch. Um, some else that's pedestrian. Ah, all right. I don't know why my phone likes to get caught in my pocket. I guess my thighs are too big. Um, this iPhone. And let's go ahead and separate this. And I'm going to teach you something real quick. All right. So this iPhone. Sell it anywhere, right? Uh, it's uh, 128 gigs. It's unlocked. I, I Once again, next door. Craigslist, Facebook, I can sell it. Now, this is an authentic Apple case. I can virtually sell it not many places, and I can't get much money for this. But if I use sell this and include this, I can actually sell this case. Trying to sell this case is like trying to sell a table without the chairs. Very, very challenging. Even though it's name brand, see, it's got the little Apple on it. If, but see, once again, it gets into specifics because it only fits uh, i7 plus phone and it's brown and 
color means a lot. If it was red, I could probably sell it. So it's little stuff like that that you got to understand. And there's so many nuances to what you could sell, where you could sell it, how you could sell it, how fast you could sell it. So the first step to selling something is to buy something or to acquire something that is pedestrian, pedestrian famous or name brand. Because it could be name brand like, um, let's say, say you have a Lamborghini LP640. That's like a 2007 Lamborghini. Um, it's well known. A lot of people want it, but not a lot of people can afford that bad boy. I think that sucker is $150,000 used. It's like a 2007 model. That's kind of hard to get. So that's another issue that you have. If you have something that's really name brand, it's really high end. People know what it is, but getting that money and I forget the auctions, but there's these four auctions. They happen New Year's Day. They happen Memorial Day, 4th of July uh, they're for antique auctions. It's been so long since I've been. But every year, if you got some high end antiques, this is where you need to go because you're just not going to move this stuff in your local vicinity, even with eBay, because um, this lady I used to work with, I forget her name. She was a little crazy. But Debbie, little Debbie, the sub Debbie was like six feet tall. Debbie told me she had, I got these rings out of a storage unit. These rings were very antique -y, very they were real gold, real diamonds. But mostly people wanted to just give me scrap value for the gold and just discount the, the diamonds. And Debbie was like, mm -mm -mm. no, no, Glendon, Glendon, no, no, you hold on to those. And I'll take them to the auction with me when I go 4th of July. I was like, how much are you going to charge me for this? It's like, I'll do it as a favor just to prove a point to you, Dick Glendon. <clears throat> you and Francine, you've been giving away too much stuff. So she takes these rings. There's like 12 of them. She, and they take it to this auction. Uh, little Debbie comes back with a check for $48,000 for these rings. So knowing the right place to put stuff is almost... It's more important than the stuff itself, because if you don't put it in the right place, you're not going to get the desired income. So there's a whole bunch of things that go into selling stuff fast. Your, your inventory is like an ice cream. So you've got to like what I do. I do triage like, you know, I know it frustrates some of y'all, but I got to go where the money is. Let's say I put out a product and it does OK. Then I put out another product. Then it goes like crazy. What do you think I'm going to put my attention on? The products that are going crazy. Uh, this is something that I picked up from the emergency room. And this has probably happened to you. You go to the emergency room. You got maybe a broken arm. It's serious. They're going to see you. But then here comes this accident. There's like three or four little kids from, you know, they're trauma one, trauma two, trauma three. That's going to absorb all of the resources of the emergency room. And what was going to be like a one hour wait for you now turns to a nine hour wait. And that's just how it is, because if you were bleeding on the table with a hole in your heart, I think you would want a lot of people to focus on you versus this kid who is definitely needs to be seen, but has a broken arm and can wait. And that's how I do it. And it, it drives some people crazy. But one of the things about selling and one of the lessons I can teach you is that if you own a business that is dependent upon selling, you need to sell stuff every day. You cannot, because one of my goals, and I have not reached it, hence the reason I'm still shaved, is to consistently sell $1,000 a day worth of stuff. Some days <clears throat> I'll do like $1,500, then the next day I'll do $300. So the average isn't 1000 bucks a day. So until I consistently, the goatee's not coming back. That's just one of the games that I play with myself because 1000 bucks a day is 31000 a month. Now, I'll get kind of close to that because there'll be these days, but it's just, it ain't happening right now. So I'm doing all of this stuff to make that happen because I have so many people that I have to serve and so many needs to serve. And I quite, I know what I need to do and I have to be consistent about it. And what I have to do is create new products. That's what I got to do to hit that thousand G, you know, bucks a day. I got to create new products and I got to implement 
this and now this is advanced stuff and th this is something else too and i want you guys to really really listen to me on this there are many of you who are really smart and there are many of you who are really lazy and what you want to do is take one course and hopefully hack and get to my level very quickly now I know for, you know, internet porn and stuff, a thousand bucks a day is not a lot of money. You know, you got folks making 200, 300. Well, actually, even the Amazon people, if you balled it down to profit, not gross sales, they're not even making a thousand bucks a day. Most of them. There's a handful who are killing it, doing more than that. But most of them know you make a thousand bucks a day. So that's the benchmark. This is a goal that I started in January and when we started it we we're doing like two three hundred bucks a day and now i would say the average is about it's no average it's like it swings it's like 380 this day 600 this day 1500 it's just it's just all over the place and i think part of that is my marketing and my marketing aka youtube because youtube is jacking me because youtube and just for those of you who want to do youtube know what's coming if you use YouTube to market your products and you send traffic off the platform, YouTube is going to be like, I don't like that. So I'm going to crank down your traffic. And that's what happened to me because we were getting real close to hitting it. I was going to let my grow teeth go back. And then um, they crunked down my traffic. I got to actually see it in my analytics. And this 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 battle, this is why I'm doing two live streams a day to combat that. And uh, I'm, I'm going to try something else again. But essentially selling fast and selling a lot of products is more than the product it's the strategy of what you're going to put out there to sell things because if you have no strategy you just out here hustling or like this hustling you know this someone wanted me to say that again glennon you're just hustling you know like a hustler hustling you're only going to get so far you're only going to get so far and it's going to be very frustrating because you are probably operating on 20 percent of your potential because hustling is a very important thing learning how to sell is very important but what really turns the dial what really cranks up the intensity is selling management and strategy so you know if you're buying storage units you don't know what you're getting so you just got to roll with the punches but if you're out here trying to buy products to sell there there is a methodology like many of you who create products uh you sell t-shirts socks and you got all these t-shirts and this is one of the biggest mistakes so many people make just because you bought a product for like real cheap let's say someone this t-shirt company was saying like if you buy a thousand t-shirts We'll sell them to you for three thousand dollars. So that's like three bucks per shirt, right? So you go ahead and you get the discount, but your marketing can only sell two hundred shirts. You would have been better off charging a higher price and selling less shirts because your marketing, your marketing frame set, like my marketing frame set is not what it used to be here on YouTube, which is why I'm doing different things because essentially you have so many things going on with YouTube and Facebook right now. Cause remember when Facebook used to change their policies and stuff like once a year and piss everyone off. YouTube used to be like once a year. I think every quarter they're making changes every quarter. It's like those halftime adjustments in a football game. This is what they're doing. And I essentially had some stuff that was working like gangbusters. It was working great. YouTube is like, oh, no, not you. We ain't, no, 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 no. We ain't, no, no, no. You're getting way too much traffic. You're making too much money. We're going to throw all that down. And that's how it happened. But I'm going to figure it out again, YouTube, and I will win. Because I've been down this road no less than 20 times. <laughs> it's just it's just what it is. And this is a big thing that you, if you want to be in sales, you want to make a lot of money, you must get used to and embrace and live off a of change. You cannot, I mean, set it and forget it. Every time I hear someone's like, hey, I got this set it and forget it program, I start laughing. 
Set it and forget it with YouTube, not going to work. Set it and forget it with Facebook, not going to work. Set it and forget it with Instagram, not going to work. It's just not. You are you you got to get into the game and learn so many of these skills because it's going to evolve, but it's only going to evolve like 10, 20 percent. Right. But if you didn't know that first foundational skill, it's just like crazy. But to sell a lot of stuff very, very fast depends highly upon your strategy It is a big, big part of your strategy. It is a crazy amount of your strategy because. Let's say I was in the storage auction business today and how I would do it. First thing is I would not waste two years trying to sell booty stuff for high price. That really, really set us back because what I learned and I learned this when my back was against the wall and that story is in Ask for the Money. Um, as long as we had cash flow, we could weather any storm. But having those gaps, like a two, three day gap with no sales, and it, it just, it was really, really bad. So once I like wrap my head around discount pricing, pushing stuff, oh my God, the sales line evened out. It was like sales every day. Then it's like, okay, how, what can we do to reduce our, our burn? And then all of a sudden, you know, we were making more money off of Craigslist than we were from eBay. I was still buying a lot of units, but part of <clears throat> what you must endure as a salesperson is change. Uh, I had someone who said, hey, Glenn, make a course about annuities. I'm not going to make a course about annuities, and it's not because I don't know about annuities. It's just like most of you don't have the money to buy it. I mean, if you had 75 G's to buy an annuity right now, let them hold on to that 75 G's 15, 20 years. Uh, for 20, 30 years, they'll pay you $75,000. But you got to have the 75 G's now. You, you got to have it now. You need it now. So what I am doing is putting together these courses to get you more money now so you can take advantage of this stuff. Because there's a certain way that I'm going with Hustlers Kung Fu University, and it's to give you the ground skills to make more money. Cause I don't, I'll say this and I'll keep saying it. Um, make more money, make more money, make more money, push yourself to make more money. It's going to solve a lot of problems. Yesterday I asked how, how many people made 75 K and live by themselves. What 25% of the people who answered was in that situation. And once again, let's, let's break that apart. 75 K live by themselves. They're not millionaires, but they're living a certain kind of life because they're above average people. Once you get above average, all kinds of things open up. A lot of stuff open up. All right, so let's go ahead and see what's going on in the hustler room. What's up, regular web guy? Johnny Walton, Kindle Vision, Miss Finance. Michelle Michael, William Newsom, James Alexander, Saranad Lucifer, tr certified, that's the name. Good morning, Randall, Rugged Collars, Trey, Cashmatic, Dashinky Jones, what's going on? Afri, Brian Ash, Jade Rick, Deuce Deuce, Deuce Staley might be the OC for the Philadelphia Eagles. Just a reference there, because Deuce, he used to be a player. What's up, Stefan? The booty booty. I mean, booty products. I used to hate booty products. I used to get depressed. What's up, Gabran? Mama needs her wine. Mayumito. Dwayne Bryant. Savelta. Yolanda. <laughs> Gwendolyn Hill. Dwayne Bryant. Nick Moe. How much for Batman? Batman's not for sale. Michael Dennis, Joseph Park, what's going on? That board is actually a part of the wall, it's a paint. Nick Malone, service is an answer. D. Coleman Show, what's going on? What's up? The one light foot was shaking. So you, you got to go ahead and get you some sales stuff going on. Do, 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 do. All right. 
Let's see, where are we? Oh, I meant to talk about this. This is, ooh, can we, can we, can we? Ah, there it is in my hen scratch. Start working on this stuff and ask for the money. Now, let's talk about ask for the money. Ask for the money is going to be kind of like 30 days to 2500 in terms of me putting content and training in there. So I'm just letting you know. Because one of the things that I feel that people need to do is, and I need to put that together, is go ahead and ask for the money. So let's see. Where should we start? Because, all right, let's go here. Never broke action pack. This is going to be to one to get today. Yes, the never broke because direct sales, how to stop being broke. I am going to raise the price of this tonight. So let me see. Where can we put? We're going to use. Oh, we're going to use these coupons. That's very interesting. It's very interesting. So let's get rid of, actually, let's not. All right, I'm going to do 75% off. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Huh, I don't know. Give me a minute. Let me see what's going on in the chat room while I figure this out. What's up, D. Coleman, DeWan Lightfoot, Rick? <laughs> My name Rick James. <laughs> I just said what I meant by booty product, D. Hectrix. I went through a whole explanation on that. What's up, Tanya? You're going to have to watch the live stream. I broke that down ardently. Um, let's see. Let's see. What can we do? I'm trying to think here. I want to do something different. Give me a minute. Um, also... Tax Slayer, I'll be working on that next week. Today is Thursday, so we will be getting off into some Tax Slayer stuff next Monday. So I know there were some of you will be glad to hear that. What am I going to do today? I know what I'm going to do. Let's see. What is that price on that? Whoa, that is not something that I want to uh, put out. Don't know. All right. Because um, I, I had some fires I had to put out this morning. That's why I did not set this up. Normally, it takes me like an hour to prepare for these things. I was trying to get over here because this traffic was like crazy. So oh, let me see. All right, I'm going to put this out here. Let's see, what is this one? Pricing. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is, because some of you don't want all this other stuff. So let's see, ask for the money. So let's see where we are with this. So this is the course that I'm gonna be updating today. This is what's there already. Very interesting stories. <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting stuff. So let me see what can I do with this. Uh, hold on a second. Let me figure this out before I get crazy. Before I start doing crazy stuff. Because I'm probably going to do 75%. Whoa, that didn't work out. Minus 75%. Alrighty, that, that is not working out. Oh, because I'm not hitting the right thing. All right. Make sure that my math is correct. Oh, all right. So let's see. The sales course here that I'm working on is going to be probably better than anything I've done recently. So this is going to be the deal. All right. Make that there, and we're going to go here, because this is going to be big. So I'm going to take 75% off of asking for the money only. That's going to be it. So I will need to go over here and create a coupon. Let's see. What is the coupon going to be? Let's get to the coupon. Oh, it will be 75% off of asking for the money, which will be updated today. 75% off. And it's just going to be the course. It's not going to be a bundle. There's already a lot of stuff to help you there. There will be more to help you later in the day. Good Lord. Let's see. Okay, apparently I missed it. It's got a lot of stuff to go through. All right. It's not showing up for some reason. Now, I have a disruptive mail video I want to make. I just haven't had the time. But it's going to be fire. I got one up there that's doing really well. Okay. Um, let me look at this. What do I have this... Uh, Huh. This is a, a little while. What name? Ah, okay, okay. I, I was tripping. I was like, I know I got this in here. <coughs> All right. Man, I hate those kind of sneezes. All right, here we go. All right, so 
we're going to make the code. We're just going to go Monday. Monday for that. And we'll do 30. All right. So 75% off of asking for the money. Which I will put under the course. <clears throat> the Shaky Jones, like leave Fleece Johnson out of this. Question Can you, how can you build a business when you have a family work and you're finishing your degree? Should you hold off? Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to address that in a minute. That's funny. A lot of people actually left. <laughs> that is wild. It's like, well, he's selling some. It's time to go. <laughs> people are so selfish. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that is funny. Uh, I'm going to actually talk about that in a minute. <laughs> Uh, seventy five percent off. Ask for the money. All right, so that's there. All right, to answer your question, you got too much on your plate. You're gonna have to finish one of those things because having a family. Going to school and trying to start a business? Are you serious? Yeah, you can't do it. I know we're not supposed to use the can't word, but you can't. Family work and you're finishing your degree. Uh, you will have to finish your degree and then uh, start a business. Because, uh, yeah, you should definitely hold off. What's up, Emperor? What's up, Charlene McKinney? Randall, what's going on? Honey Bunny, Gwendolyn. Yeah, you always got to be selling. And a lot of people hate that, and that's why they don't have any money. Be real, the people that left because you're selling something are sellouts. <laughs> no, I mean, it's just most people are selfish, and this is one of the things. Ooh, 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 ooh. Do, 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 do. Hold on. How to use people's self enlightened interest against them you know there's some people who will never buy anything unless it's on sale they will never buy anything all right uh the thing that i was going to talk about was the people who left i know the audience there's a group of people as long as the information is free Glendon, you are my dude. Love you. Mm -mm, right? And the minute I ask for some money, I got to go. And, you know, they're not like bad people, but I use those people to grow the channel because they're never going to buy anything. I'm serious. They're not. And that's just one of the things you got to deal with because if I could get like 100 times more of those people, the channel would grow and I would get more sales. So it's not like a bad thing. And that's one of the things that you have to do in sales is reframe. And you have to consistently look at what you're doing. Because, like, I put down this topic, how to sell a lot of products in a short time frame. And, you know, only not a lot of people showed up. Now, if I was to put up some stuff up here, like how to make a lot of money buying Bitcoin, oh, my God, there would be more people here because... You have a lot of people who want to make a lot of money for doing nothing. And this is the forms my um, theories and my perspectives on Bitcoin and other things. It, it's just we, we I don't know where we've lost our way. It's like hard work is a dirty word. And not for you guys, but for some of the people, it's like very much a dirty word. It's just something we're not going to do, don't want to do, looking for some wild ass scheme. It's funny. So 
you got to use what you can, like, you know, with the booty products. I use the booty products to fill up the parking lot because cars, no cars in the parking lot. People will drive on by. Oh, there ain't no cars there. Ain't nothing special going on. I'm not going to stop. So I kept the booty stuff in the dollar section to keep the parking lot full to draw other people in who would buy other stuff. See, there's so many things you can do, but many people are on that first layer knowledge tip. That's just one of the things that's killing so many people. All right, so uh, what I'm going to do for the core group that's here is let's go back into the magic. Let's see. For those folks who are not here, they'll miss this. But let's come out of this. We already got asked for the money. And what I'm going to do, like today is Thursday. <clears throat> I'll get a lot of stuff done today. And then we will be with the Tax Slayer bundle next week. So what I'm going to do with this, yeah, uh, that's enough stuff in there. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to offer 60% off tax slayer. And I'm going to go ahead and give you these codes where you can see them. <clears throat> I need to go to the gym this morning to get some of this chunk out of my system. So we're going to do 60% off of. Oh, that's not right. See, it's 60%. There we go. And we're going to skip past courses. We're going to go to bundles because I'll start working on that Monday. <clears throat> Tax Slayer for the average citizen to win. And we're going to put the code Tuesday. <laughs> I'm keeping this real simple because whenever I get fancy with um, some of this stuff, it, it just gets crazy. All right, so <clears throat> we'll just do this. Ask for the money, 70% off, and it is Monday, lowercase, and tax layer, which I'll start next week. is 60% off and it is <clears throat> Tuesday lowercase oh let me see check myself out and yeah so I'll just hold that there. <clears throat> Those are the codes to use at checkout. You get 70% off, ask for the money, direct sales. That's just the course only. I'm working on that today. And next Monday, which isn't too far away, you get 60% off of Tax Slayer. And oh, the code word is Tuesday, lowercase. Code word is Monday for the 70% off, and it's code word Tuesday for 60% off. So let's go through let's go, let's go through some stuff and I'm gonna explain some stuff to you guys. Let's get in here and let's go here. Go to bundles. So this is what's gonna happen with tax layer. Like there's nothing here. This is what I'll be working on. I'll be working on this and this Monday. 
Uh, this is done. This is very, very important. A lot of people want to skip over writing for cash, the ultimate goal setting tools. They just want to <clears throat> get out there, start <clears throat> hustling, making money, just, you know. And I'll tell you something that happened to me when I set a goal. Currently, my goal is $1,000 a day. And I'm going to talk about this. Now, that's where I want to consistently get to. So I've done 300. I've done 1,500. It's just, it's not, I haven't quite figured it out. Now, the thing is, once we consistently get to 1,000 bucks a day, the cheese moves to $2,000 a day. And then once we get to $2,000 a day, the cheese moves to $3,000 a day. Because the ultimate goal is to be making a million a month. But how do we make a million a month? Well, we got to make $1,000 a day before we make a million a month. Because a million a month is, let's see, what is that? Let's, Because I, I haven't gotten that far in my planning because first we got to break this $1,000 a day barrier. But let's see. What is a million a month divided by 30? All right, so that's $33,000 per day. That's what we got to make to make a million a month. So right now, 1000 bucks a day, then 2000 then 3000 then 10000 bucks a day. I can probably do 10, let's say 15 to 20000 bucks a day selling online courses. And then I'll bring in events and some other stuff. But that's the goal. But, you know, a million a month is $33,000 per day. Before I make $33,000 per day, I got to make $1 a day consistently. Broke that. I got to make $50 a day consistently. Broke that. 100 broke that. 200 broke that. 300 broke that. So... This is what I call breaking up the elephant into manageable parts. Because if it's just like, oh, I got to make $33,000 a day and I am making currently zero, I don't know how I'm going to do it. My mind would freak out. But over a course of 36 months, which uh, I have 33 months left, I feel I can do this. Now, let's talk about this. 30, 36 months, that's three years. I have no illusions. And even in three years, it's still going to be challenging. But once this is the whole thing with goal setting, because so many people are so pressed that if they can't get what they want right now, real quick, they will not do anything, which is stupid, which is totally stupid. So my goal is to make a million a month. I've never made a million dollars a month. I've made a few million in a year, but I've never made a million dollars a month. How do we get there? And this is the same goal setting process that I used to start this channel. I had Urban Pack Rat, Business Credit Mentor, PassionateFriday.com. I had three ponies running. I had a goal of $50,000 a year in two years. One of the things I've learned, and I want you guys to really listen to me, you can have anything you want. You can own, build, but your timelines are ridiculously stupid and compressed. You want to do in mere weeks or months what it's going to take a person a few years to do. Once you say you, you smash time, you take time out of it, and you get about activities and actions, so many things start to happen. So this is, you know, and a lot of people are just like, well, you know, I'm not even going to take that course up. It ain't really important. It is probably one of the most important courses you could take because it shapes up your perspective. You're not going to create a million dollar business in. Um, you're not going to create a million dollar business in a few months. I know there's all of these stories on Facebook. I know there's these stories on YouTube, Instagram, where people who literally started off with no skills, they were stupid as a rock. And all of a sudden now they're making a few million a year. There is this one. And I knew he was lying because he was talking about buying a house. And of course, he made like one point like five million in 18 months. 
you know you can't buy a house unless, I mean, no one, they've changed the rules. Unless you buy from a private owner, you cannot buy a house and get a traditional mortgage without at least three years of tax returns on file. And they will check these tax returns. You can't buy a house. I don't care, you know, unless you can pay cash. And even if you pay cash, they may be a little sketchy because they're going to wonder where that cash came from. You know, all of the proceeds of a legal, you know, if you use money that's not properly gotten illegal money to buy something that can be seized. Who wants to lose a house? This kind of thing doesn't happen every day. So they're going to like let that walk. But if you change your perspective, you change your timelines, you, you begin to. It's like, okay, well, for a year, I'm going to devote myself to it and start looking at stuff like that versus like, I'm going to do this for 30 days. If it don't work out, I'm out. You will do things that will boggle your mind. So that's a very important course. And a lot of people are just lazy. I'm not saying that because I want you to buy my products. I'm saying that because a lot of folks are just lazy. They want something for nothing. And they're ever going to be frustrated and they're going to be buying all of these courses looking for that magic bullet and magic jelly bean, that secret ointment, the goose that lays the golden eggs. While someone like me will just be like setting goals and steadily working towards stuff because uh, it works. It seriously works. All right. So that's what your courses are. And I'll be sure to put it in the comments after this video renders so you can get it. Let's see what the chat room says on this. Uh, uh, Natalie D, unrealistic expectations are horrible. Too many people have these type of expectations when it comes to work and money. Uh, many people feel that the lottery is their retirement plan. I, I thought that was a joke when I researched it. There's a lot of people who feel that way. Save your game side corning. What's up? Agent J. Poole, we live in a microwave success society and people will want push button success. It's pathetic because they're still broke and they're cool with it. Lance Brown, morning. Charlie McKinney, wild ass schemes get you in prison. I'm too pretty for prison. <laughs> Gio Murray, that's really smart. Didn't think of it that way. Keep the booty stuff to draw a large audience and the audience will draw those who buy the real stuff. Yeah, there's so many ways to do this. It's just people looking for these immediate results. I have invested thousands of hours in the selling stuff. And when I get someone who has not invested thousands of hours of selling stuff saying it ain't going to work, I'm just like, you stupid. What do you mean? Do oh, I'm not posting that workout. Y'all are not going to see me with boogers coming out my nose. Not happening. Eat edible, edible vegetables. Drink some water. No, I actually need to go to the gym and blow my system out. Yes, you can, honey bunny. Yeah, because the thing is, when you see this big goal, like, all right, a million a month is $33,000 a day. I didn't know that because I ain't even looking at that. I'm like, okay, let's conquer this 1000 bucks a day goal. Then we conquer the 2000 And it's a progressive thing. I figure it's going to take me about two years to get to about ten grand a day. Realistically, I mean, it's just, you know, it's going to take that. And then last year, and typically what happens is when you do all of the work, you do 80% of the work, then all of a sudden it's just like things start moving like the speed of light. What's up, Derek Brown? Hog song beat, hot song beats, that's good. Miami Jones, I do have a problem with not meeting my ideals though and have to have instant gratification. I have so many products unfinished because of that's a horrible habit. I'm going to tell you about something like that. I used to be just like that. And I was in that boarding house, and I was a person that talked a really, really good game. And I, one day I looked in the mirror, and I was like, you got to stop doing this. Because I felt horrible about myself. I had a lot of unfinished products. I had so many things I was doing. So I made a promise to myself that you would do more than you would say. And I actually, because I used to be real chatty and I just started shutting up. I became a quiet person in the room because I wanted my actions to be bigger than my talk. And I talk a lot, but I do more than I talk. And if your actions are more than what you're saying, 
you're going to be good. Uh, purchase some land under my LLC with three years tax along with profit and loss statements. All right, so I'm getting ready to go. I will be back at 6 p.m. today with another titillating saucy topic. So for those of you who want the courses, they will be under the video, and I'll make sure that I'll put them under there. Exponential growth happens proportionally with the amount of consistent work you do. That's very true. You got to put in the work. All right, be back at 6 p.m. The courses and specials are under the video, and they'll be in the first comment once this video renders. Talk to you later.